as you can see, there's a little snake inside this egg. But what kind of snake is inside there? Well, I bred this fire yellow belly female to this lemon blast extreme gene entry. And in 57 days, we're gonna find out what is actually in this egg. But you guys are gonna find out just a few minutes into this vlog. You see, we're starting to get a handful of clutches again, 27 clutches. But we'll check back with you guys here in a couple weeks. So far, we have seven beautiful eggs. Hopefully, there'll be seven beautiful eggs when we check back here in just a few minutes in the vlog. And while my dad's doing that, we're gonna be doing a lizard mukbang. We have quail egg, chicken egg, and fish. fish. Let's see which one they eat first. You want me to lay down? I'm in pants. Kush! So smart. Oh, lay down, Mike. Wow. Oh my goodness, he's going for the chicken egg first. Oh, look at him go. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Oh, crack it. Now he's just gonna swallow it. Crack it. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Look at those nails on the ground. Oh my goodness. It literally looks like there's something like, uh, I don't know, shark right there. Which one's gonna be next? Is he gonna eat the quail egg or the fish? I mean, the fish you would think you go for first. It has the most smell, smell. To it, right? But yeah. I think he's more like, hey, I'm outside. This is different. He just comes in attacks us. <laughs> no, no, quail egg. You want a quail egg? Get the fish. Oh my goodness. It's a dinosaur. It the is. last time I tried to give him a quail egg, he completely ignored it. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. Baby Kush! Most people, when they see these animals, they think that they're just mindless creatures. Hunt anything, they eat anything and everything. If you saw, he obviously prefers the chicken egg and the fish versus the quail egg. It's not that he wasn't going to eat it, he just didn't want to eat it, you know? <laughs> he ate it! He ate it! <laughs> Mukbang! So Baby Kush is stuck outside. I don't want to grab him. He doesn't really want the fish anymore. He's kind of doing his own thing. His nails are so wicked. There you go. You did it, Mike. So it's exciting that all seven eggs made it. There's no doubt it's gonna be some really interesting babies. I love the fact that the lemon blast and fire mix really well. The yellow belly mix really well. And of course, we've got that extreme gene and entry in there. Could be some really beautiful, colorful babies. So let's go ahead and cut egg number one and see what we have. Lots of different combinations. So don't know what we're gonna get. And that's what makes egg cutting so exciting. All right, right off the rip. Let's see what we have. Ooh, it's a pretty snake. I know that right off the rip. So we definitely have a lemon blast. Definitely have an entry and it looks like a fire. So it looks like we might have missed the yellow belly and the extreme gene, but we definitely hit the fire lemon blast entry, which is pretty darn cool. That's a beautiful snake. Let's move on to egg number two. Always do the little pinch technique, get those blood vessels off the top. And here we go, egg number two. I'm just wondering what that all gene animal is gonna look like, you know? It again, looks like the same animal, a lemon blast fire entry, which is pretty interesting that we hit two in a row. Let's move on to egg number three. And egg number three. Interesting that they're all looking exactly the same. If this one changes at all. Oh, this one, we've got a normal pinstripe. Looks like this is just a fire pinstripe. Probable yellow belly because you see a little bit of orange in the sides. That's usually the yellow belly. So it looks like a fire pinstripe yellow belly right there. Not bad. Didn't hit the pastel. Still haven't hit the extreme gene. But hey, we still have four more eggs to go. Egg number four. Connie. Next up, we're doing toothy. Ow, Next up is toothless. Let's see what food he wants. God, Mike, I'm trying what? to do something. You put the cart right in the middle of the way. Next up is toothless. Let's see which food he chooses first. No, don't tamper. He's going for the wet egg. I think we found out the answer. His breath stanky. <laughs> what does it smell like? The dog's breath. He's trying so hard to eat it. So this isn't going egg according to plan. Okay, Mr. Ryan. Because I dropped the egg on the floor. He got the quail. He got the quail. Totally not tampered. <laughs> That's my finger. Oh my goodness. I mean, at this point, let's just have, let him have it, you know? I'm making scrambled eggs oh, over here. Oh, he's gonna walk through it. No. Ah, eat the egg. Dude, he's got fish in his throat. <laughs> no! He's got fish in his throat still. Yeah, because they do what birds do. Get that in there. Keep that in there. No! Toothless! <laughs> his mouth is too small. Wow. His head grew two times the size. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it went through your nose, nasty. I guess I'm gonna have to clean this up before we do the next one. Toothless, eat this. <laughs> just dropping it on his head. He's a bath, Mike. What are you doing? You Stop, know you're a toddler and just making a mess is so much fun. You got it all, you got it all over Such a dude. Oh boy, oh yeah, oh my gosh. This is the animal, oh my gosh. Look at this animal right here, guys. Take a look at this. This is the all gene animal here. So this is definitely an entry. It's a lemon blast, it's a fire. It's a yellow belly, an extreme gene, and it is exactly what I was hoping for. Ooh, doggy, that thing is 
freaking insane. Way better than I expected. That is an absolute ripper. We still have three eggs to go. We hit it, guys. I mean, we've got three eggs to go, but that was the animal I was hoping for. I don't know how I can hit anything better than that. I mean, we can always hit more than one, and that's always exciting. So let's see if we get lucky. Oh, nope, doesn't look like we hit it here. But we still have a beautiful snake right here. Wow, wow. look at that. Again, that is a fire lemon blast, yellow belly, and cheese. So all this is missing is the extreme gene. Wow, those two last eggs have been ridiculous. Okay, I tell you what, it's heating up, man. The beginning of this clutch has turned out good, but the last two eggs have been stunning. Okay, oh, look, we got again another one. We have been crushing the odds. Look at the orange in that. Oh my gosh. So that's the fire, that's the lemon blast, that's the enchi, and that is the yellow belly. Possible extreme gene, too. Wow, I mean, those last three eggs have been ridiculous. I mean, it's blowing my mind. We've got one egg to go. Let's end this on a bang. And last egg. I don't know how I could top these last three eggs. And this is a beautiful snake, too. Let's see what we have here. Wow, I can't believe the coloring on these animals. I think this one might not be a pastel. This one is actually a pinstripe enchi fire yellow belly. Still unbelievable. I mean, the odds on this clutch turned out to be so much better than I expected. We have a ton of beautiful snakes. I mean, really, every snake in this clutch turned out absolutely amazing. They're going to hatch out here in the next couple days. So here in a few minutes, you're going to see what these babies look like outside the egg. Next up, Beetlejuice. Let's see if it'll crawl his way down. I don't know. He doesn't like fish. If it was chicken and roti, he'd be all over that by now. Not the next watch. Yeah. Look at this beetle juice. We got all sorts of stuff for you today. The egg, the quail egg, matches his skin. Oh, I want one of these in my house. It'd be pretty sweet. I just don't see the point because we have them here, but this isn't my living room. Get it, get it. These guys don't think deep. I don't think he can fit this egg in his mouth. Every time, we we use, go. every time we use eggs, something makes a mess. Something as in Noah. Oh, he's gonna get all underneath the rock. He's drinking egg. He's sticking his tongue out. He's slurping it up like it's a freaking protein shake. He's getting that vitamin, nutrient, enrichment. Wow. Protein synthesis. I'm mixing in with the stag. 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 Oh, oh, there oh. it is. Another example how we don't know what we're talking about. No, because what happened was he didn't want the fish, but then you made it smell like egg. He ate the fish. He, he ate it. Ate it. Gobble it. Gone. Gone. And these guys are finally out of the egg. And I tell you what, there is some mysteries in here because I don't know what most of these are, to be honest with you. This should just be a fire pinstripe, possible entry, but it looks so different. But then take a look at this one here. The same thing. I mean, theoretically, this is a fire pinstripe entry, but it looks completely different than what it should look like. I've never hatched out a snake that looked anything like that. And then take a look at this one. This is basically the same as this snake, just added with pastel in it, which is just blowing me away because I don't know why these animals are coming out like look at all the orange in that animal that shouldn't happen we have another kind of mystery gene floating around in this clutch i cannot wait till these things shed out and one of the things that i really think is interesting about this clutch got one two three four five six seven babies now half of them on average should be pinstripe every single baby in this entire clutch had pinstripe in it that's just odds that you don't normally hit so here just in a little bit in the vlog you're gonna see these guys after they shed then we're gonna really see what color they look like oh yeah mike come on you, can you pick that up for me? I hate you. This no. one's our last one. Okay, good. I've seen you and Jay, what you did in the hotel room with the... This is karma! <laughs> <laughs> it in my pocket! Mike! What? Why, God? What did I ever do? You find you be so crisp later. <laughs> All right, you ready to do this last one, Mike? One last egg. All right, Mike, got one last. <laughs> Ow! Ow, my toe! Ow. Oh my God, dude! I'm sorry. It's lunchtime, Mike. You can take a break. I'm out, I'm out. Ow, my toe! Mike! What? Ow! I guess that's the end of the mukbang. Elvis looks pretty excited, so we're just gonna open it up and let him like lick the ground and eat the fish and quail eggs. Just go at it. Look, it's a mukbang. Is that what they call it? Alice is a little confused because the eggs that we give him are typically whole, but today not so much. So he's trying to figure out where the egg is, even though he can smell it, taste it. Fish? Nope, still missing. Oh, 
Oh, he got the fish. Mmm. Elvis loves his fish. Obviously, the water monitors will eat a lot of fish in the wild, but they will also find whale egg. He just busted wide open on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a long time, this clutch is all hatched out, actually shed out, and even eaten a couple meals. And this would be a lemon blast enchi here, which is a pastel pinstripe and an enchi. And I love the way these animals are turning out. Just the blushing in them and that kind of orange, crispy, kind of real autumn-y look to them. I love this. This is actually just a fire. It's an enchi and it's a pinstripe. And then we hatched a couple of these out now that they've shed out. This is actually a fire enchi in extreme yellow belly. Ooh, man, that thing is amazing. And then this one is actually the same animal just adding pastel. So it's a lemon blast, it's a fire, it's an enchi, an extreme gene, and it's a yellow belly. Holy cow, these are some amazing animals that hatched out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, all right, Mike, got one last.